What do we have here? We have a bathroom. We're in the public restroom at Vogel State Park. And I, I picked the bathroom, well, because it's 27 degrees outside and the bathroom's heated. So and I wanted to see if the acoustics were maybe, you know, something nice. But what about this? What do we have here? We have the Rook or Rike, however, you know, people want to say it. It is the P155. And it's really nice. P155B, not just the P155, but the 155B in 14C28N. So some pretty good uh, steel, you know. Now it's got some kind of a number over here. It's an FDH blah, 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 119 or something. I don't know what that's about. I don't know what those numbers are for. As you can see, it's got this kind of sweet, uh, what do they call this kind of shape? I don't know, it's a trailing edge, flat grind, uh, nice mirror polish there. Well, not quite mirror, but good, good. And we got a thumb stud and we got a flipper. That's, I love that, I love having a flipper and a thumb stud so you can and it and it thumb studs really nice too so the thumb stud action very smooth like a lot of rooks um, the action is very above the cost i think it's about a 50 dollar knife if i remember right i love the uh the the milling on it so it has that uh, peel ply texture on the front but then it's been milled down and contoured very nicely. Um, I like about it also, if you look, the uh, pivot has a hole all the way through. Why is that? It's not a big deal, but it's just really cool. And, and there's no other screws other than the, the one through the pocket clip, which is nicely done, very nicely done. And down inset in the G10. And then it basically it's like another pivot in the back. So it's basically it's a pivot in the front and then another one in the back. Now, the back one's not a pivot, it's just a, a bolt. Chicago screw, whatever they call them. But it just makes it a nice clean presentation, you know, with no extra screws. It's just a nice, cool, smooth shape too. Um, as you can see, it's nicely centered. Let's see. Backspacer. Oh, it's got this funky lock. So when you uh, deploy it, you can shove this little thingy with jigger upwards and now it won't come unlocked. It kind of moves and gets a little loose, but won't come unlocked. Now it's unlocked. It's got a little bit of a double clutch issue if you have your thumb up, up far when you unlock it. So if I have my thumb here and unlock it, drops there. Oh, I got past it. Okay, hold on. Let me try again. Way up there. Okay, now it's on the double clutch thing. It might come relocked. There it goes. It's relocked. But if I go a little bit further back here, now it's fine. Reverse flick. Reverse flick is fine. The blade is not very thin behind the edge. Okay, it's kind of a heavy duty knife, I would say. Fairly thick stock. Uh, those thumb studs are very nice, very catchy on your thumb. You don't slip off easy at all. Ergonomics, really, really good. It just fits the hand just perfectly. I think it's about a three and a half inch blade, maybe a hair more, 3.6, 3.7, something like that. This position is great too with this big thumb ramp here. It's a really nice knife and so buttery smooth, just like a lot of Rook's knives. Yeah, I definitely recommend this one. If you like that, uh, that blade style, I would definitely go for that one. Grab one up before they uh, stop making them. I, guess, I don't know how popular they are. They should be more popular, but yeah, I don't know. Anyway, that's your Rook. 
P155 from the public restroom here at Vogel State Park. Have a nice day.